friends, TGIF. So, thinking a lot about, well, I think a lot all the time, but about my past and where I want to go with my future and why I want to keep doing better. I had both my parents pass away on me. My dad, went, uh, when I was 28, and 29 ish. And my mom, when I was 16, I had a house fire, burnt down, lost that house, uh, caught a few cases. Um, this past year, family's restaurant burnt down, almost lost my, my main job at the greenhouse almost burnt down, COVID, and I'm just, I've been trying to stay as strong as I possibly can, and what gets me is, I was talking to a, a former minister today, and he, you know, he's knows I'm going through some stuff right now and he always tries to give me a good possible year or good advice to help me out. It's just what he does. And, uh, well, well. And, uh, he tries to encourage me. And we were talking about, you know, the good I have around in my life, the, the growth I've experienced just in the past few years with my life and how I really actually want to keep going, keep pushing, keep doing better. And I was, I look at the times when I was, I was Dick K2 and more importantly, but I used to be a huge bar fly. There was a point in my life where I was at the bar seven days a week. And this was after I lost all my weight. I used to be 240 pounds. And I came back and everybody said, oh, you lost it because it was drugs. No, motherfucker, it's cold. I started eating right, I started working out, and I had a physical labor job. Honestly, if I had a desk job, and, or had a desk job, I'd probably be pretty damn fat right now. But I maintain my weight, and it's not because of drugs. It just irritates the shit out of me. But that just made me realize how many like people I've met over the years that were supposed to be my friends, but they weren't actually my friends. They just, oh, they wanted to be cool and like, oh, beer here, beer there for, you know, like, it was just a bar relationship and association and there was almost just an accident right there. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it was just like, all these people from my past, like, where are they at now? They're in like, they would have never helped me through any situations and I got good around me and I, and consider everybody on my work family because if they still continuously help me grow up and know I got problems they still give me breaks they still give me chances and I've been doing pretty good for the past few months I've been trying and because I want to move forward I want to do better I want to succeed I want to do things that I never thought I could do and this is why I want to start working on an album and start doing my music and I've been doing these vlogs consistently because I tried to do this years ago and it just, it was not a good point in my life and I actually had a lot of people listen to my SoundCloud and podcasts and everybody thought I was funny and everything and it's just like, I used to have my ex say, hey, I need to get baby voice. So this is why I just wanted to prove a point that I just have mouth, and this is how I am. Like, yeah, she she saw the sweet side of me, but not so many people see that. Like, I really cared about the person. That's why I was such a sweetheart. And that's why when I hit a mic, I go. And I'm loud. I'm stupid. I, it's just, just what it is. I like to ramble. I like to rant. And I just want, like, well, this is why I do the videos. And so you can see it through my own verse. They're like, yeah, I'm trying to get back to that. And I'm really sick of people assuming shit because of a past or, you know, I don't associate myself with a lot of people that I used to for reasons. And it's just like, I can't have toxic around me because if I have toxic around me, I'm going to become toxic. And, you know, wear my shoes, people. Listen to my vlogs. I've gone through a lot. And I read a quote the other day, or a few weeks ago, that 
you might not be the smartest one in the room, but the reason you're able to give advice is because you've gone through just that many situations. And it's just like, yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. Cause like there's still things I'm learning. This is why I like the career man, because I'm learning a lot. Like I've known a lot which makes me good. But it's basically about growth. Like you look at a plant, it's almost kind of like a human. It needs water to stay alive. It's made basically of water and it needs growth. And like it needs sun, like how we need UVs. And like it doesn't grow in darkness. And when you're depressed and you're in a dark place, how are you supposed to grow and love yourself? This is why, you know, like, I even call guys, hey, beautiful, just because, you know what? That's my thing. This always comes back to the Chris Brown song, and, dude, I've been in love with that song for years, and it's true. Like, people don't feel beautiful, don't have confidence, and this is the main reason, because, like, we were talking about it, like, I used to love being, you know, why I like seeing the, going to the bar, because I came back and people wouldn't even, didn't believe it was me because that's how fat I, like, how much I changed. I had long hair, I was 240, 250 in high school, and people wouldn't believe me, except when I would walk up to people in the bar back in the day, they wouldn't believe it was me. And I was like, yeah, that's really me. I used to have to show my ID to prove it. And I like, I liked being the playboy. I liked kind of getting that, the, the opposite reaction because I used to get bullied, I used to get made fun of. They're not by everybody. There was a lot of cool popular people that were nice to me. But like, these popular chicks, it was even better when they used to talk shit about me in high school. And here I'm at, they're trying to hit on me. This one time, I was at a concert and this girl from high school, popular girl, made fun of me. We were talking, she wanted to dance, and she's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go just go to the bathroom and we'll dance when I get back. And I literally slammed my beer and walked out the door and I walked across the street. Just just for the little satisfaction to be a bastard on how people treated me. And it's like, but now I just don't give a fuck. I don't have any right to impress anybody but myself in my own life. And this is what I'm trying to get better at and continue to do. And it's just, it's great because I'm a, I'm a different person right now and growing. And I don't, you know, I don't care to impress anybody. That's not what I live my life for is to impress anybody anymore is to be happy and love myself and to do things that are good for my life and that can help me, help me grow and can help make me better. And this is why I was like, I wasted so many years trying to impress people when I lost this way, like being at the bar, hanging out with them. Like, you know, it's great dancing with a, a cute random lady, but dude, at the end of the day, there's still bar flies, like a lot of bar flies. It's like, I'm happy I'm not that person anymore. I'm happy the growth I've experienced and the changes and the life experiences put me through because now I'm able to give advice and people look up to me for it and it feels great. And I'm not ashamed, like I was telling them, I'm not ashamed to talk about my life and like to make people feel better about their life. Because, you know, I'm not a perfect person. It's like, I don't have sympathy for a lot of people because I'm going through a lot of shit and always have been. And it's like when people complain to me, it's like, bro, I've been through this. It could be a lot worse. So you remember that when you're you're feeling weak and down and depressed. So this is my my little spiel. I, I wanted to say is just you know love yourself. Don't care about the opinions of others. Like doesn't matter what you look like. Just love yourself, and you'll find somebody. And it's like the soul soulmate theory. Like there's millions and millions and billions of people, and you separate from your soulmate at birth, and you spend your whole life looking for them. And you know what? This is why I like counseling, even marriage counseling, because no marriage is going to be perfect. Because it might not be your soulmate, you might not click, and it's very hard to find somebody that just you mesh up perfectly with. And 
that's why, you know, life's not perfect on every aspect. The way we're living, the way we're going through it, like, people are going to experience hard times, there's going to be people going through harder things than you are, but, like, they're not as, they, they've had something bad that you haven't had happen, and they weren't strong, and they weren't so focused on their mental health, and you just got to keep building yourself up, keep being stronger, and doing better, my friends, like, it doesn't matter, see, everybody goes through something different, like, some people have better lives than others, but if you're down and out, just keep grinding, and keep strong, and keep growing, because, you know, you might have a good life one day, even if you're in a hard spot, like, you gotta climb, you gotta climb, because there's only one way to go on that stuff, so keep your chin up, buttercup, and... I hope these videos are helping, but if they're not, they're helping me let my, let me rant and let this out of my system. So if you need a pair of shoes, I've gone through it all. Take my advice. Peace, friends. I hope you have a good one.